as I was saying, we have issues recently in regards to bolts. Um, people are complaining of them. They come on our show, you know, like when I overcharge and then they're not compensating and then there's no customer. Like the feedback from the customer care is also not so pleasant. Um, but on this particular live session, we are going to going to have like a live session with one of the ladies. I think she's really going viral at the moment. She was assaulted by a bolt driver. I mean, how do you just pull a knife on someone, on a customer? Just because she's not willing to pay what you want. I mean, like, I think these services, Kama Bolt, Uber, um, Little Cubs and all that, you're supposed to pay according to the app, yeah? And even if there's, like, a price increase in regards to maybe weather, Kama Kumenyesha, Ama Traffic and all that, you're still supposed to pay as per what the application will show. So, you know, it beats logic if, like, a rider wants you to pay more. That what she's supposed to be. Anyway, let me see if the lady is live at the moment. At the moment. Okay, I'm still waiting on her. She goes by the name Susie. Um, she had a very horrible experience that I wouldn't wish even for my worst enemy. So I'm just waiting on her to join the live and then yeah i can shoot like i think that's that's not her i mean you guys stop sending me requests i only want to go live right now with Susie. so the other requests i'll accept later i guess after i'm done with the major person of the day um because for today we are just waiting on a particular person um, but in the meantime there's an if you get story how are you i go by the name stacy um kai hello i go to video uh, mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Fine. Um. Okay. Let me hang on. Okay. So. I have to sit like this, kiddo. Hi, Susie. Susie, unazani ona? You can't hear me. How comes? Oi. Can you hear me now? Okay. Are you using earphones or something? But why? Um, I will try talking. You can't talk, Skiza. Ah, you can't hear me. <laughs> okay, let me call you. Aki, <laughs> um, you guys, you just have to bear with us. Polly, Miss Anna. Susie can't hear me. Don't worry. Hello? I think it's your network or something. I would, I would try refreshing or something. Because actually, what when you're live, whenever you skis, and you went to even skis, I don't know why. I would just refresh and then we try. Like, I don't know if you Okay, Okay, you guys, you just have to bear with us, Kido. Go. I think, like, 
Suzy, can you hear me now? Um, so a while back, I ordered for a boss. I was going from Longai. As you wait for Suzy to fix her... I can so hear you now. Yes. Fiox. Fiox! I was really waiting. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you feeling now? Mm, just a bit of pain now and then. Okay. Um. So your story has really gone viral as of now. Yeah. And the reason for this live video, for this particular one, mm -hmm. is because as Buzz Room, we believe in justice and just ensuring that anyone who goes through any form of molestation or just any form of injustice gets justice. Mm -hmm. So we actually just requested to go live with you because we wanted to hear your side of the story. Actually, we know your side of the story, but we just want the public to know your side of the story. Una prefer nyonge kizungu ama kiswahili so that we just on the same page. Mm, nyonge kiswahili. Nyonge kiswahili. Aya I feel like I'm too official to get English aya sawa. So, um the main reason as to why to look at like session is because mm. You had an incident, yeah? Yeah. That left you hurt. That left you spending a lot in hospital. That yeah. left you somehow also traumatized. Because I know now you're a bit skeptical on taking like taxi rides, yeah? yeah. I don't get a bolt candle, like just any taxi ride, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So the main purpose for this live, as I've told you, Susie, is just to get your side of the story. So to begin with, can you just tell us, um, just introduce yourself to us, to the audience, and what happened? So my name is Susan Waitera. Mm -hmm. I'm a student in Kenyatta University. Yeah, I'm pursuing fashion design and marketing. Okay. With the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So ni kitaka nguo ni kutafute? Kitaka nguo ni tafute. Unaweza nitengeneza nguo ya harusi? Eh kuja ndo kutengeneze. Sawa, nitakutafuta. So um before we even go into the story cuz me na jua what happened already I was briefed. Um I just like to say pole sana for what you had to go through. Even enemy I wouldn't wish that they go through anything like that. Mm. And I am very sorry. So as Buzz Room, we'll try our best. We'll do our best to just ensure that you get the, dust, the, the sorry, justice that you deserve. Yeah. So, of course, Kunato and join how you, what happened? They don't even know what you're talking about. Can you just kindly tell us what happened and why you're here today? The date and the time, Nawapi and all that. Just give us the information of what happened. Okay, so it was on 29th, that 29th August, that is mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was around 7, 7.30 there at Diamond Plaza too. Mm -hmm. I had gone there with my cousins to watch a movie at the theaters. That's Parklands, yeah? Um, I'm always yeah, Parklands. Parklands. Yes, okay. Parklands. Okay. Yeah, in Diamond Plaza. Mm -hmm. So, Saya Kutoka Nika request, nika request bold. And the driver came. Actually, hapo ambali, alikuwa minembea na drop mtu hapo Diamond Plaza 1 and then anikujie. Ebu ngoja kidogo so, suzi. Yes. Um, bold ina kuanga na categories. Flani, kuna hiyo economy, kuna bold ya kawaida, kuna the big car, mlikuwa wangapi and which car did you request? So, nili request Uber, not Uber, sorry. Nili request Bolt Excel. Mhm. Mm kubwa? Eh, yeah, ile kubwa. Okay. Ulikuwa wengi? Eh, yeah, tulikuwa wengi. Ilikuwa mimi and my seven cousins. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Not seven cousins, sorry. Ilikuwa mimi, my two brothers and now the five cousins in total tulikuwa eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mimi na brother yangu tu ndio 
watu kwa above 18 au wengine ni watoto so na brother yangu huyu mwenye ananifuata ni autistic so ndio maana nilikuwa na request uba excel mara ya kwanza nika request uba e- not uba bold sorry nika request bold excel mara ya kwanza huyo mtu akaniambia ako mbali haizi kuja nika request ya pili ndio sasa ikakaa mgari ndogo okay. na nime request excel ikakuja gari ndogo unaweza kumbuka ni kwa gari gani ya yeah, hiyo yenye sasa tulikuwa na yeah. driver Mhm. Yeah, ilikuwa Toyota Raptis. Okay, mhm. Yeah, ilikuwa Toyota Raptis. So, you guys are eight. Yeah. Okay. Benya alikuja mm-hmm. kapak gari kando akasema Kakuja kapak gari kando akasema let's talk junaona mko wengi. Suzi, ulikuwa unatoka Parkland ukienda wapi? Nilikuwa natoka Parkland nikienda Isili. Maris. Na okay, na hiyo application ilikuwa imekwambia ni how much? application ilikuwa ni 270 okay mm-hmm. yeah so venye driver alikuja kapak gari kando akaniambia tuongee alichukua simu nyingine yake akaandika hiyo dist- akanipiza mnenda wapi nikamwambia tuende Isilima Restops mm-hmm. akaandika hiyo destination kwa hiyo simu akaangalia the most expensive kwa hiyo app mm-hmm. akaona ni 780 akaniambia so mimi na wabeba under one condition if you pay me 780. Mimi nikamwambia mbona unasema tukulipe 780 yet the mm-hmm. application inasema 270. Yeah. That's like price mi... the amount, si ndio? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikamwambia I will pay according to the to the app. Na unajua bold sometimes unaweza panda ikiwa imekwambia 270, ufike uambiwe 350. Zio hike. Nikamwambia even if it hikes Tunajua sometimes zina hiking, I will still pay. Mi sijakata kulipa, but I will pay according to the app. Iki hike, if 350, if 400, I will pay. But si ati wewe mwenyewe unajilipisha even before the ride starts. Yeah, so hapo ndo atukwa tunelewana na yeye. Yeah, nat- anasema, eh, mi naweba tu ikuwa kama ni 780. Kama mtaki kulipa 780, mi misi wa baby. Nikamwambia basi juu atuelewani let me just cancel and request another one. Sasa hapo ndo akakasirika akaanza kututukana akisema sisi ni wajinga sana we've wasted his time. Ati basi kama tuwezi lipa hiyo pesa tununue gari yetu. Nikamwambia let me just cancel juu atuelewani let me just cancel. Ndio sasa hapo alikasirika akatoka nje na rungu. Katoka nje na rungu because my autistic brother Uwe mwenye nifuata ndi mwenye nimekwambia kwa autistic. Yendo alikuwa hapo hivu kwa mlango. Benya alitoka na rungu, yendo alimfikia wa kwanza. Akataka kumchapa na rungu kwa kichwa. But my brother, aka shield na mkono. So rungu ikampata kwa elbow. Kagonga tena, aka mgonga kwa shingo. So alimgonga kwa shingo na elbow. Then, ndio my cousins wakaona, eh, uyu mtu wako sira sana chapa kazi nietu waka try kushikilia yorungu ndo ache kuchapa my brother. Venyo alishikilia yorungu, alienda straight into the car katoa sasa that knife. And it was very big. I can't even call it a knife. I can call it a sword. Because it was very big. Sasa yo kisu, haka ishikilia, anataka kukata brother yangu. The same autistic brother. Anataka kumkata kwa kichwa. Ndyo sami nikona, now this is serious. Nika ingilia katikati. Venyo nilingilia katikati, tukanguka sisi wata watatu. Me, the driver, and my brother. Tukanguka. Na sezo tumianguka katikati ya barabara. Na piga nduru na ita o ma security guys wa Diamond Plaza because they were just there watching me. They watched the whole thing. Waliona kila kitu. Na piga nduru na wambia wakujwa ni saidia wa saidi. They never did anything. Uyo mtu sa venye tulianguka chini ya kani kata na iyo kisu. Venye lini kata ka realize na mwaga damu akatoroka before hata afike kwa gari akaona nimeangusha simu simu ilianguka in that process of kuanguka chini simu ikaanguka yenye nilikuwa nayo na ni simu ya mamu akachukua rungu akaigonga ikiwa chini aka crash the screen na akapanda gari akaenda let me show you the phone because it's here mm, can you see yeah it's so dumb yeah Wow. So hapa ndo aligonga na rungu. 
na akapanda gari akatoroka so bahati mzuri i had mastered the number plate jota nilikuwa nimeambia my cousins gari yenye natukujia ni KCR 243Y so hivyo number plate at least i had it nilikuwa nimesha master kwa kichwa yeah na akatoroka hivyo katua chapo wait Okay, I'm even speechless. Um, okay, I don't know. It's been so many years. Mm-hmm. But I'm very sorry you had to go through that ordeal. Um, as I said, I wouldn't wish anyone to go through that. It's very horrifying. And it's just so terrible that wale watu wengi tuna believe one is to protect. Sa zile maybe it's very late na tunataka like kufika home na kuna mat, we rely on a taxi. Mm-hmm. Are actually not helping. So far ni miskia what transpired from the driver's side. Mm. And all this in letter two because you didn't want to take that particular ride. Yeah. Wow. Be- not not even because I didn't want to take the particular ride because you didn't want to ride. pay Kenya alikuwa anataka. Because of the price. Yeah, Junior anataka alipo venye anataka. Na ulimwonyesha what the app was saying like ulimwambia unataka. Yeah. Hapa yeah, Parkland tunaenda hapa it's supposed to be this yeah. much akakata Yeah ukamwambia unataka ku cancel you request for another one akatoka nje na rungu Yeah and then a knife Yes Wow Aki I'm very sorry I'm very sorry ulipiti hayo And as it is you need justice mm. honestly kama uliumia ulikatwa katwa na kisu i mean it's not even a knife as you said it's so huge na nashangaa why would a, a bolt rider would have something like a knife or even like a bigger yeah. thing than a knife in a car you know like yeah. mm. it's like we are no longer safe so tell me after that ordeal after everything happened um hiyo bolt ni request uli request na simu yako because you mentioned ulikuwa na simu ya mama was it your mom's phone that you requested with ama ilikuwa simu yako ilikuwa simu ya mama hiyo yenye imecrashiwa ni simu ya mama hiyo ndo nilikuwa natumia the, that whole day because my phone had charging issues so hata sifu ibeba mm-hmm. niliacha home nikachukua simu ya mama nikaeka my sim card so my sim card ndo ilikuwa inatumika ku call but the app ni ya mama ilikuwa kwa simu ya mama Okay. So after all this ordeal after what happened, mli request how did you guys get home? Did you request another bolt again? Am I use another means? So when ye um to alitoroka akatoa chapo katikati ya barabara, mimi nilisimama nikaenda kuketi hapo kando hapo kwa entrance ya sasa Diamond Plaza 1 kwa mm-hmm. security guys. Nikaenda hapo nikawauliza na sasa hizo I'm bleeding na bleed sana no is our security guys yani you can't do anything and you saw mm-hmm. everything from the start you can't do anything amwezi kuja kuchetea watoto mnaona mm-hmm. wani watoto niko nao yeah. mnaona huyo ni bolt driver mmeona tu vizuri sana ni gari imekuja anatoka nje na rungu anatoka na kisu and you're still there watching how Wakana far were you guys ulikuwa mbali aje from the main gate ya um, diamond plaza na kwenye bolt ilikuwa ama lingia ndani Aku ingia ndani tulikuwa entrance ya mbele entrance ya mbele haizi ingia ndani ya nyuma okay. ndio gari zili ingia mm-hmm. but entrance ya mbele ya Diamond Plaza tu gari hizi ingia ni watu passengers tu wanaingianga watu so tulikuwa right at the entrance see at we were far we were right at the entrance na entrance ya Diamond Plaza 2 na Diamond Plaza 1 they are directly opposite each other yeah so tulikuwa tu right at the entrance so litumia simu ya mama ku request the bolt yeah so after that venyesa nilienda kwa security guys mm-hmm. nikiwauliza mbona wana hawatusaidii nini wakasema ati hawangeingililia juu hawa kwa najua nini inaendelea nikamwambia hata kama mjui nini inaendelea you are seeing kids are involved mngekuja hata at least muondoe watoto basi mhm hawakusema anything so mimi niko na hata wanisaidii bahati mzuri Mama mwingine kwanza akakuja akaniambia msichana acha kukaa hapa endo report Parklands police station. Tunaweza nifikaje hapo? 
akaniambia niende park lands oh, course that's the hand yeah which one mm. mm. it's your left it's your left no it's my right hand oi so alikukatakata na kisu eh alinikata hapa kwa palm oi hi okay aha mm. mendela na story mhm uh-huh. sasa juu pia my cousins walikuwa na simu tukapigia anti yangu juu singepigia mamu juu ni mimi na simu yake mhm tukapigia anti yangu simu kazi yangu ndo alimpigia akamwambia kenye imehape na anti yangu akasema anakuja sasa venye anti yangu alikuja ndio akakuja na another taxi hiyo ndio ilitupeleka nyumbani na ikanipeleka hospitali but tulienda from there we went straight to radiant radiant hospital nikafanywa first aid and then ndio sasa radiant wakasema wanatulipisha expensive sana mama akasema watuandikie referral juma mangeza kulipa hiyo pesa sasa hiyo radiant walikuwa na walipisha how much walikuwa natulipisha 50000 kutritiwa na sasa hizo walikuwa shatumia pesa yetu mingine juu tulikuwa tushafanywa nini first aid walinifunga okay. first aid was how much um how much was it tulipisha how much mama anasema around 5000 okay mhm juu niliingia tu hivi wakanipima pressure wakasema my pressure iko chini juu nime lose a lot of blood yeah, nikae yeah. kwa maji nikae kwa maji and then wakanifanyia first aid sasa kwa mkono wakanifunga na hata venye ilifungwa it was still bleeding the cut was so deep so from there venye tuliandikiwa referral to ya mama Lucy na hapo bado pia ndio brother yangu alidungwa sindano ya kumfanya ache kusikia uchungu na akaandikiwa madawa huko so venye tuliandikiwa referral ya mama Lucy tukaenda kwanza tuka tukasema tu report pangani police station kwanza junisha fanywa first aid ndio sasa tuende mama Lucy kwenda pangani police station wakatuambia that was the same the night system. yeah the same night mm-hmm. wakasema the systems are down twende the next day so we went to mama Lucy tukaenda mama Lucy hapo ndo nilipata sasa treatment nikashonwa and then we went tulifika home around 5 5 am nikulize unless mimi am the one who's not getting it right mlikuwa mmenda pangani police station ku record statement yeah but wakasema system zao ziko chini ju squeeze uki report wanaandikanga wana feeding information kwa oh hawaandiki yeah squeeze hawaandikanga oh, okay mm-hmm. yeah so we went to mama lucy yeah huko ndo nilitrichiwa Alafu after all this that happened um did you reach out to bolts na kama uli reach out walikwambia nini Okay actually before we even reached out to them au ndo walipiga Mhm walipigia mam simu so i guess walipata namba kwa hiyo app walijuaje kuna issue wakapiga My friend ndo alipostingi Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sasa ni posting akaona wakaona wameanza kutagiwa kwa Instagram wakaona wameanza ku trend wakaanza sasa kutafuta mam. Mhm. Juu guess waliingia sasa kwa app wakaona who is the owner of that that application wakapi, the, of that account now wakaona ni namba ya mam wakapigia mam. So when walipigia mam walimwambia ti we take down the post that is going viral kwa social media so that they can give us a promo code wow the audacity umeumia umekatwa katwa you bleeding you've spent already a lot in hospital umekuwa referral and the best they can offer is a referral code yeah the best they can offer is a promo code we we'll continue using bolt na such violent drivers wow wow 
Aki, I'm even, I don't know, I don't even want to say. But then, kile kitu ulipitia, it's so bad. You know, like, I mean, I wouldn't even believe, me ni mekwana experiences by ambaya. I've had issues of being overcharged, but as I said, ni kianza, me, I'm one person ni kiovachajiwa, I'll go and complain on the application. And they've always reimbursed my money. But now you see your case was different. It's not a matter of umelipa mob because Raida li tumia rutindefu and they need to reimburse your cash. This is our sort. Yeah? Umekatwa katwa, umekatwa katwa. And then the Raida has sped off. Ame kwa chapo yivo. And then you're trying to reach out and the best they can give you wana kupatia promo. They're like, we can give you something off and you're bleeding in Wow. Aki Suzy Pole sana. I'm very sorry you had to go through that. I know kuna vile mefanya una feel. I know there's a way it's making you feel about using taxis, not just Bolt, but even Uber and even little cabs and any other application. You know, like once you go through such an ordeal, kuna vile nakufanya una kufia. And I know your mom kwenye ako, she's not happy. She's not, she's very, she's sad. You know, she's a sad woman. She's sad because her child had to go through this. She's mm -hmm. sad because the particular driver who was involved is out and atembea like freely, you know, like no action is being taken. Yeah. And as it is, the best bolt is saying is that they are investigating. Yeah, so far. He, he particular incidents it happen when? It happened on Sunday, Naloni Thursday. It's almost one week after they're still investigating. Yeah. You have images of the assault, you have videos. Nini want to investigate? Wakuna number uyo rider, the rider signed up to them as a driver. Nini want to investigate? I mean, I'm, I'm so pissed. Mm -hmm. So, it would just tell us, like, what would you wish to be done? Independent nini mifanywe? Because when I can tell how on our money, and you, of course, where's if I hear something like that if it happens to you, you know? Yeah, so personally, me not take justice. Because mm -hmm. I go social media, I go social media, I go around. So many people are commenting that probably while you be where, when you know, some of you be na Uber drivers, when you know, some of you don't work here, so when you know, you are making you a nini, you need this bolt drivers work on a cases ni mob. I'm not the first one. So I want justice. And that driver and a act as an example. Yeah. 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 Because if they don't act on him, what I wanna, oh, it happened and he's still free. We can still do this PSCC. Kwevo pia ye, afunzo ya dabu yake ashikwe, but after me shikwa, sasa yu tutachia polisi wa deal na yeye venyu wanataka ku deal na yeye. Okay. Um, Ubojaribu kutumia services zingine kama maybe Uber, um, Little Cubs, or any other app. Umekwa na, alafu actually, before you had this particular incident, umekwa na issue yote with bolts. Overcharging. Me issue any me ko na bolt. Issue any me ko na yo na bolt before. Ni yo ya overcharging. Yo unapanda unapanda ride me ko ambia me for for example me ko ambia one eighty. Uki fiko na ambia ni two fifty. Ime high katikati anjia. Nasi ati kulupa na traffic or anything. Na uki wana hizo issues za uki wana hizo issues za overhiking of price. Because I believe you're on the route and what is happening. Umekokiona, like maybe a driver is deliberately using a longer route so that I could charge more. Ama imekwa to the same route, but ki ride ki endiwa in a charge more than what was estimated. Sometimes they just use the normal route in a charge you more, but pia ni me experience yo ya kupitishwa long routes. Na bado kitu ingine, nisha experience ni unapato ume request bolt, Number plate in your app, see you in a kuja. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. That's another I'm thing, yeah. Number. Yeah, I'm a phone number in your makeup. If you try to call, 
ukiwa wa kwanza before ku call unapata si hiyo namba ndio natumia unapata yuko mteja na kupigana namba nyingine mhm yeah so hizo ndio vitu nime experience before well okay pole sana suzi once again i am very sorry ulipitia hayo ambayo ulipitia um from our side we'll try get in touch with the balls the best we can we we'll try get in touch to one kama watakubali like i mean they need to compensate you it's not even a matter of them offering you i mean discount on your next ride and that you continue using balls now mumia you see this is a different thing this is not just you being overcharged you know kama ni kwa overcharge ningesema sawa um i've been overcharged by 300 bob when you offer like 500 bob that's fine that's settled yeah but then this is a case where someone is hurt someone is injured someone is bleeding imekuwa hadi police case and then the best you can still offer me is a discount code it doesn't make sense alafu when you went to um the police station mlimalizaje like what's the status right now of the case so kwa police station tushafanya everything nishachukua dp3 so londo tulikuwa tunapeleka hiyo p3 kwa polisi na tushapatiwa hadi polisi mwenye ana investigate kesi yetu mm-hmm. so from there amesema atawako need and then he'll give me a call okay let's just go peters because also saki kongea mbaya but it's fine let's just go peters But in the meantime we we'll just try and get in touch with the bolt and then come up with any issue um if they get back to us if they give us any feedback we we'll sure get in touch and then we'll also just try and use the kid of connections we have and just see what we can do mm-hmm. but as it is we are not promising anything we just say we we'll do our best to help yeah. where we can we we'll try talk to bolt because i'm sure they know about this particular incident Set to yeah. Maria kuna msichana alikatwa na kisu watakuwa like msichana mgani siku gani they know so they of know. course yeah of course kuna mahali wamefika na hii issue if they were really following up on it so we we'll just try um i'm seeing people are saying you get in touch with a lawyer and all that um, yeah i already have a lawyer in case i need one mm-hmm. ah okay then that's fine that's fine mm-hmm. but once again i'm very sorry about this particular ordeal um receive my sincerest inasema sorry zamu inasema ni si condolences ni mtu ajakufa so just i'm sending you hugs and kisses darling and i wish you quick recovery um mama lucy will spend roughly how much mm, how much one my receipt in mob so at we haven't calculated oh you're being billed for different things mara moja yeah kuna consultation kuna dawa kuna kuna pizza ndio nilifanya hadi x-ray kuna stitching yeah so zilikuwa ni my receipt in mob okay sawa sawa mm. Um as I've said tutajaribu kwa pande wetu tuone and if you have any feedback I'll sure get in touch with the PGA sim ama we just DM you we we'll do like the way forward and I mean whatever happens it's just not right you know like I mean if they realize they have it's like they're really accepting kwa na thug as their staff you know like there's a driver who's out there walking freely and has a very big knife and has a room in his car and he's not even using it for protection for himself and to make assault customers that is totally wrong very wrong so once again i'm very sorry um we'll repost and everyone who's watching this live okay just post and repost and repost and repost until suzy gets the justice she deserves because she actually deserves justice like i mean you wouldn't wish that for any person you know hata kama upendi mtu you wouldn't wish So just repost 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 baka suzi apate justice and we really thank you all as it is mama nasema je suzi mama mekasirika sana 
kwa sababu hata since the incident happened haindangi job haizi niacha kwa nyumba peke yangu i can't do things on my own anymore mimi ni student as in in week ya cuts cut to can't go to school na next week tulikuwa tunafaa kufanya cut kama sasa jana na leo nilikuwa na cut siwezi enda shule kufanya hiyo cut i can't you right handed yeah Yeah I'm right handed. So you can't even write. Yeah. Wow. So mama me kasirika sana and uh, that day she was in shock. Akishanga who who is this? Who is this? Mm-hmm. Like mbona ananifanyia hivi watoto? Can you imagine when you say nani? Can you imagine ukipigiwa simu ukiambiwa watoto wako wawili wameatakiwa? Yeah. Yeah it was so shocking to her. I'm very sorry. Um but I really like to thank you for just coming out and talking about it because you'd have chosen to just keep quiet and say you're following it up silently but you see even you coming out umesaidia watu wengi sana. People who haven't used bolt. I'm not in a much mere bolt and have had very bad experiences and have never come out to speak. Cuz jana nilikuwa naangalia page ya bolt and it's blowing it's blowing and for once they are actually taking time to respond to customers wakituma like message hapo hivyo wanajibu so you really helped a lot of people you know like you just coming out and saying this is what i went through and i need justice and justice has to be served umesaidia watu wengi sana so i really applaud you for that na natumaini tu when you get in touch and everything kila kitu kwa sawa But in the meantime just take your drugs if you need to go for any tests just go for them make sure na follow up na police here and just also keep us updated ko pande wetu if you have anything we we'll also just keep you updated and we just hope for the best but i'm very sorry i'm actually very really sorry very very really sorry that you had to go through this and Thank i you. hope and pray that justice will be served Yeah, so ninge- okay, do you have any maybe last words or parting shots for the audience? Um what I can say is that I'm glad that Rafiki yangu alipost kwa social media na ikago viral because mm-hmm. sijui kama kama ni mimi mimi singe post. Yeah. But nilifurahi venye Rafiki yangu alipost na ikago viral. Your friend is actually nice. Guess, yeah, kwa sababu hiyo ili, ilifanya watu pia wa come out was waonge maybe wengine walifanywa hizo vitu na hawajai ongea mm-hmm. so yeah that was good i thank my friend for doing that tell your friend we also say thank you because i know maybe okay. ulikuwa kwa ile state yenye maybe you're so traumatized you can't even talk about it but her just posting about it gave you the strength to actually talk about it you know yeah yeah so just send her thanks also for bringing it to our attention and i believe so many people have picked it up so hata kama mimi si bazu mtakusaidia i'm sure utasaidiwa mahali because the story is now all out kila mtu anajua hiyo story and let's just hope that justice is served yeah okay any um umesema pati shot yako ni just thanking your friends yeah and also yeah, kenyans yeah. like kenyans have reposted and reposted and reposted and reposted Yeah, I really thank everyone who has reposted. So many people have DM'd me hata wenye sijui wakiniuliza how I am. Mm-hmm. I'm so thankful for that. Thank you so much everyone. I okay, so awesome. And also you guys for interviewing me. Labda hapa ndo justice itatoka, labda hii ndo itasaidia. So thank you so much. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. Yeah. Aya sawa say hi to mom have a very good night be sure keep in touch if we have any information in regards to the particular assault tutakwambia na pia bolt wa kilichao just let us know so that we know because of course we've run the story so we need to know an update if they reach out yeah. to either you or us we'll sure communicate to you with the way forward yeah okay aya sawa say hi to mom and your siblings i will Sasa have a good night. And have thank you for night, showing up. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. 
hey okay you say that was that was bad like me sj kwa na interview kama hiyo that was really I don't even know how to react you know like I don't even know ebu ni songo huko huko bela simple fly it's like you have an idea ebu tell us what should we do let's do this guys and i know like twitter is also very powerful let's just go and camp on twitter you know like like any hashtag bathroom up or any hashtag twitter like any hashtag bolt like just post and repost post and repost like i feel like this lady I don't even feel like like she deserves justice whatever she went through no one should go through um okay so i'm just going to go through a few of your comments i was so engrossed by you my session back i didn't even see what you guys were saying um carol baraza some of us got here late what happened in the car asikuwepo na lake halipo No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Gosh. Um Susie was assaulted by a boat driver alikatokatwa na kisu just because she didn't agree on price with the boat driver. Boat driver alikuwa anataka lipe more and she just wanted to pay what's on the application. Which I believe is the like the, the correct way ya unafa kulipa kenye app inakwambia. Hata na kuna traffic ama ama kama kumenyesha you just pay that and then you follow up badai. But this particular boat driver was really insisting kina Suzy while he that which he wanted which was not on the application that's what happened um sure and this thing happens most of the times like okay i mean not read all your comments but i'll just wrap it up because we have like two minutes left e live indians at seven we have two minutes to just wrap up I'll tell you my experience. Mimi nilikuwa na experience na Bolt. I use Bolt a lot. I won't lie. I use both Bolt food and I use Bolt as an application. Um but of course it hasn't really been the best because kuna hiyo hiking of prices. But as I said, me can say like me, I'm one person when you give me ukini hike prices. If you overhike your prices, I just complain. And I'm very vocal. So if I complain and you don't take action on social media you know like I'll go there but I'm glad I've never figured it out but you see so this issue was totally different like I mean if we entrust these taxi people to be the ones to take care of us and drop us home safely instead of using a matatu and they're the same same people who are carrying knives and spades and rules and all that in their vehicles then how sick are we as a nation it's not even about men it's not even about girls like just basically everyone how sick are we cuz suzy was both assaulted with her bro you know like miata ni majam ni majam ni majam sana um but let me just thank you all for joining this live session i think i'll just wrap it up from here um I may not have responded to all your comments but nimeziona ni mwana kuna mtu ametag DCI Kenya ni mwana kuna mtu anasema we take it to Twitter and all that but i believe if you take it to Twitter it will have more impact so the same same crowd that was here today in Twitter tonight let's come there let's trend and let's just tunaweza tumia hashtag kama justice for suzia justice was easy and then hashtag #bold and then you know like just let's just try and ensure it trends in your suzia party justice i love for history yeah me i don't even know like bold needs to just address this i even me ata mara mo bo mtu mia bold boda unapata na request boda niki call mtu wa boda ama mtu wa ndudi the person who's coming ama the person who's picking the phone call ako like hello Hello? Okay, na kupigia. Hello? Like it's like they didn't even know there's a request. Ama ananiambia, um acha anakupigia. So it's like even the number they're using to sign up is not the correct number. I'm like, why? You know, like mbona and then rider na kokol na totally different number. I'm una request gari, na ile number plate ndio inakuwa up is not the same number plate that you had requested. That's horrifying like what what if something happens to you you know so just to ensure your safety and all that i know bolts 
I mean, kuna wale wenye na good reviews about them, kuna wale wenye mko na wabaya. Um, if you're continuing, if you're planning on continuing to use any of these taxi services, not even just Bolt, just any, any of the advice, share your life location. Just share it with your loved ones, share it with your family, share it with your boyfriend or girlfriend, your wife or husband, your best friend, you know, your cousins. Like, just as you know, so just ensure, especially in, in, in such instances, because you never know, people have been killed. People have just disappeared mysteriously. People have been kidnapped and ransoms being asked for left, right, and center. So, I don't know what to talk about here. To end um, repost. Let's just repost. I mean, why would I request a KCZ and a KCB appears? Doesn't make sense. And the riders that are Kwambia, I got a new car. Na how you update on Bolt? Why is Bolt not updating Kamakuna a new car? Are they even aware that the rider is using a different car to begin with? You know, like those are some questions they should ask themselves. Now, if I could track our riders so that they know that ile gari customer may tisha, do gari me kuja. And you meet an image jam. I feel so emotional, Master Hoodie. I feel like just crying, but I'll end it here. Nimongea sana. I'm glad we had Suzy on the interview. Um, until next time, it's a wrap for me. Good night. And thank you for joining Bathroom Kenya live video. I was your host. My name is Stacy. On Instagram, napachikana kama Stacy96. If you wanna follow me, um, but other other artists will follow you and I'll put another version in future. Okay, bye. Good night. Together with bathroom, we're sending you hugs and kisses. <laughs>